Welcome back, guys. Today I'm possibly going to do something very, very dumb. And the uh, thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use Quick Balls to catch Pokemon. Now, Quick Balls are very, very expensive. But I think that if you catch the right Pokemon with them, then it can actually be profitable. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm going to be catching some Chaos Egg Group Pokemon, which usually if they have a 31 IV, they sell for a lot. And also... They're kind of hard to catch because you can't use False Swipe because they're ghost types. And especially like Shuppet, which is what we're catching today, some of them have insomnia, so they can't even fall asleep. So I think catching them with a Quick Ball might be the best way to catch them. And so we're going to be catching Shuppet and Duskull today. And they have a higher catch rate than Litwick. I'm pretty sure it's 100% catch rate with a Quick Ball. So we're going to go to Mount Pyre. I also am using this synchronized Adamant Umbreon because I want to get 31 attack Adamant Shuppets with the Frisk ability because they're useful for Frisk and Thief, which is a popular farming strategy for getting ever or for getting Everstones, the fossils, and for getting amulet coins. So I'll see you when I get to Mount Pyre. Okay, here I am in Mount Pyre, and this is the plan. I'm just going to run back and forth right here with my Adamant Umbreon, and I'm just going to chuck these Quick Balls. Now, I have a stack of 500, so I'm going to keep track of how many Quick Balls I use. Um, probably it's going to be 100% catch rate, so I could just count how many Pokemon I catch. But uh, yeah, 500 Quick Balls. We're just going to Quick Ball everything and see how many things we can catch in one hour. So I'm going to start the timer, and I'll be right back. Okay, my time is up, and it's time to see how many Pokemon I caught. Also, guys, I wanted to say I'm really sorry about like the repetitive content. Um, I know like just the money making catching videos is very repetitive, and uh, but man, it's just so difficult to make original content for this game. So please, please, let me know any like great ideas you have in the comments. Um, but anyways, let's get back to the video here. Uh, we caught a lot of Pokemon. Of course, if you're just chucking Quick Balls, they're really, really easy and fast to catch. So we caught almost 120 Pokemon. Uh, yeah, quite a few. We've got a lot of Pokemon with items as well. Uh, hang on and uh, let me sort through these guys. Okay, we caught a few more Shuppets than we caught Duskulls. We caught 50 Duskulls and we caught like 66 Shuppets. Not quite sure what that percentage is. Maybe it's 60-40. Uh, we also got a bunch of items, so let's go through the items that we got. We got a lot of spell tags. We also got some Reaper class and Kessib Berry. So I'm going to have to check what prices we can get for those, um, because that will contribute towards our profit. We got a whole bunch of spell tags, so that should be interesting. And I'm going to go through and see what 31 IVs we have as well. Here are my 31 IV Pokemon all sorted out. I've got two or I know I've got three 2x31 Pokemon, so really good there. Probably pretty lucky. Then we've got some 31 attack Pokemon, as well as like this, like 31 attack Adamant, perfect, exactly what you want for a Shuppet. That should go for quite a bit. And then we've got a whole bunch of defense and HP Pokemon and speed. We got seven with 31 speed, and those usually sell for like, what, like 9k? So yeah, I'm going to add these up and check out how much they sell for. I have a lot of numbers to go over with you guys. This actually turned out to be like a great money-making method. Um, I also got a bunch of Frisk Adamant Shuppets. So I got 10 of these things. And on the GTL, they're actually going for about 10k a piece. So I just counted them as like 9... I'd sell them for like 9k a piece, get 8k profit from them. And there's a lot of Shuppets in here that I think I could squeeze some money out of um, because they've got great stats. Um, but I don't really want to deal with them right now, so I'd probably just release all of these. And these Duskulls are also kind of worthless, although there's probably one or two in here that are probably pretty valuable. Like maybe this one, like 25-25 Adamant, uh, could probably be worth something. And then, yeah, these are the 31 IVs, but let's go through the numbers here. And here we go. We've got our items. They add up to 29k. The Reaper Cloths actually sell for quite a bit. And then we've got the 31 IV Pokemon. Uh, my 31 IV Pokemon, they're actually really, really good. Like a, I got a 2x31 Adamant with some other good stats 
with a Shuppet. So I think that goes easily for 60k. And then we've got 34k for the for the crappy one. Then we've got some other 31 IVs that go for quite a bit. Uh, the Shuppets with 31 attack, they go for a little bit extra um, because they're hard to reproduce. And people need them for Frisk and Thief. Um, also, I got one with 31 attack and Adamant, so I put that one down for 19k. So all of this is after the listing fee. I want to want you guys to keep that in mind. And that totals out to 337k. So yeah, when you're catching a lot of Pokemon, you get a lot of good Pokemon as well. Also, I got, yeah, those 10 Frisk Adamant Shuppets. I counted them up as 80k. And I think I could other could get some other good Shuppets in here as well, but uh, I don't want to deal with it right now. Um, in terms of costs, costs are really simple. We've got the Quick Balls, which cost 1.2k a piece. They're actually very cheap for like how good they are and they cost 139k total and so our totals are we made 446k in revenue and we just have to subtract off our balls and there we go 307,000 per hour actually really really great money making method um i'm sure that the shuppet market is going to go down after this also the chaos breeders go for quite a bit so they are a pretty good pokemon to farm and yeah Go out there, quick ball some Pokemon. You can catch like 120 in an hour, which is insane. Uh, also, in the next video, I think I'm going to try breeding some Shuppets and maybe leveling them up to level 100 because, yeah, they actually sell for a lot and there's like nothing on the market right now. So, yeah. Also, make sure, remember, leave me some ideas in the comments and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.